good, y'all? Frank here, or Kickstarter Frank. I'm a sneaker reseller. Welcome to my crib, and uh, welcome to the day in the life of a sneaker reseller. Come on in. All right, welcome to the living room. Uh, it's a little messy, but this is where like new inventory comes in. You know, I got all this new stuff like the past week, stuff like this, moon runners. Um, I got some used shoes, and usually I put them in this like little pile, like in the front, and then they go off to the bathroom where I clean them. So we have a deal, and I like in like 30 minutes, and I put my business card in because I got my business cards here, and yeah. Yeah. I have a, a, one, one question. Why is this so messy? You know, it's part of the process. Be, being messy? It's part of the process of reselling, baby. Uh, I don't know, man. You just gotta... Your mom seemed pretty mad, man. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the other living room where I got, like, beat-ass shoes because I usually clean them. Like, these ones are definitely gonna be clean. Like, these ones are gonna be clean, uh... These are just a random pair of shoes. These have to be cleaned. Hmm. These go for like, what, 600 or some shit? And yeah. So right now we have a meetup with um, a person at his workplace. Meet at, we're meeting at like 12 and it's 11.22, so it'll take about 30 minutes to get there, so let's head out. All right, so right now we're going to like a, like a company building, like a street away from the mall or something. We about to deliver these shoes. He about, to, he about to come out in a suit and it's like, like, thank you for your business, sir. Yeah, something like that, but like, yeah, we're gonna meet up with him. And after that, we'll go back. We'll probably clean some shoes and then list them up and all that good stuff. Yes, sir. Okay, so this shoe, right, fun fact, is I'm not getting any profit you know, out of it. Like, I'm, I, I bought these for 250 and I'm selling them for 250 just because I don't think that I could really get that much more. And it's just like, I'm, I'm going to be getting this capital back and I'm going to be, like, reinvesting it. Mm -hmm. And I got my business card, so I can be, like, keeping my name out there. And hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. she's trying to cut me off. Oh! Okay, we're good. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so... I'm not making any profit on this shoe, but that's fine because I'm just gonna have 250 to play with again. Uh, I did I did waste some gas, but like it's it's less than it's less than taking like a thirty dollar loss if I were to sell it for like mad cheap, but like or wait for it, you know. I'm just gonna sell this now, get my name out, give him my business card, and then yeah, we'll get a we'll get some more deals later on today. So we good. All right, so. Drop off successful, 250 in the cash app. Uh, we're heading out now. It was a successful deal. The dude was pretty chill. He actually works here. It was like a little corporate office, office type thing. So What'd you sell him? I sold him some some Yeezys. Oh yeah, and he was talking about how like his work has like a light dress code. Like he, he was able to wear like Yeezys and stuff. He doesn't have to wear all like uh, business casual type stuff. And like, that's pretty cool. So he's gonna wear his Yeezys to work? Yeah, I mean, he was wearing Yeezys like when I when I met up with him. He was wearing some like 500s. Tough. Yeah, it was tough. But yeah, and he's my guy though. <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> we chill now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm hit him up on Instagram and all that. And I'm gonna tag him. Because I usually do that to everybody I do business with. I tag them on my Instagram so I'm gonna be like, thanks for the business because really appreciate it. Because helping a small business kind of flourish with your business. But yeah. Now we're on the way home. We're probably gonna clean some shoes, uh, list some clean shoes up already, and yeah. And then we have another meetup too. Oh yeah, we have a meetup at like six. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's pretty light today for the meetups, but it's whatever. I usually do most of my meetups like at night because people have to get out of work, yeah. and also it's only with people I trust. But like yeah, usually people got nine to five, so they don't really like do it in the afternoon or like in the morning. So nighttime works, and yeah. So if we get a day at the night, we'll definitely, we'll definitely bring you guys along. And uh, the thing is, when I started reselling, I didn't, dr I, I couldn't drive. And now that I can, shit has gotten so much easier. Like literally, once you get a car, like you can start 
like bargaining for people like I I, I gotta drive to you to yeah. knock off like twenty yeah. twenty dollars off and stuff like like driving is actually so like so helpful because like there's so many deals that aren't in your local spot that like like that are hard to like even like get because you can't drive and you have to tell people to drive to you which is like they don't even want to do that yeah. so like definitely if you can get a ride from someone like that definitely that definitely help and like I don't know once you're able to drive just just know that like shit gets 10 times easier and, like, yeah but you're, just, but you're a pretty bad easier. driver though I am a great driver I remember, actually, remember you couldn't get out my driveway it was like pretty embarrassing <laughs> cut the video cut the video <laughs> Facebook, trying to find some deals and whatnot. I usually just scroll around for like five, ten minutes. If I don't see anything I like, I'm gonna just uh, take some pictures of some cakes and get ready to post them up on Instagram, offer up, Facebook, all of that. Hmm. So what do you use this thing for? Which one? This white box. Ever. This is where all my pictures go. Look, I'll show you. Hmm. My feed, I, I take it all here. I usually clear my desk, I put it up there, and then I'll put the shoes on there. You see? Here you go. Yeah. I usually just put it on the table. and then. What did you used to do before that? What I used to do, oh, I'll show you guys. Because I, what I used to do was just put it on that cabinet, mm. the blue wall. So I used to do it. When did you start? Uh, like last year, last month. I actually um, started my Instagram account, like, September. September of last year. How was it? So you weren't doing Instagram, so what? You were just selling and not like. Yeah, I was um, just selling on Facebook and OfferUp, and yeah, that's it. So right now I just uh, I'm filing in or like putting in the transaction I just made this morning, and I did that already. But basically, here's my sneaker portfolio. Um. Let's see how many shoes I have or like how many items I sold and stuff. See, look. So this is the price. Oh, my God. My mouse isn't working. But this is the price I bought at. And these, this is the price after fees at which I sell at. And sometimes I mark the payment like PayPal, Zelle. Hmm. The size. I don't know why the size is acting on. And then the, that's the profit and stuff. I got the condition. The profit's right here. So total sales, I'm at roughly 97000 And then... Total spent, I'm at a hundred. I spent over a hundred thousand dollars, like and stuff. But it's all reinvested. Yes. Sir. And all, you know. All, but you have a lot of shoes that you haven't sold. Yeah, you can see right here. Just go down to all my new inventory. I barely sold any of this stuff. Yeah. But that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna post them up. I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna clear out my desk. Put the put the stand there. Put the shoes, and start. Posting up pairs that I ha I have cleaned, and yeah, I'm gonna do that. Gotta clean all these. Yeah, we got we got some minor cleaning shoes like these these just need a little scrub. Um, these scrub scrub scrub. This is probably uh, gotta like whiten it a little bit, whiten the bottoms a little bit. Hmm. Um, I better not see you post saying these are DS, alright? Wow, that was disrespectful. No, but these DS though, see. Oh! Yep, definitely. So check it out. We got these Yeezys right here. Mm-hmm. They don't look that dirty. Yeah, they're just a little scrub. Like, just, that's it. And then we got some other ones that need, like, a deeper thing. But this, you literally just take a sponge. Mm-hmm. Get it wet. And you just... Scrub it up and down? Oh. Scrub. But I'm going to put it over the bath. Because that's how I be doing it. So right now we're going to holy moly. We're going to Lowell and we're doing a delivery for some royal toes. They're in the bag, you can check them out. They're okay. size nine, getting 310, I think it's like 
$60 profit, $50 profit, something like that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sell that and then we might have another meetup later on. All right, so basically, for um, every week, I set a goal to hit a thousand dollars in profit. When I first started out, it was like, it, like on my other YouTube channel, like it was a hundred dollars in profit. And like at first, it was really hard to get to that point, but now it's a lot easier. And like a hundred dollars in profit was like wasn't that much. So I set it to a thousand a week, and right now I'm. I'm consistently making a thousand a week for like five weeks now, I would say, or like two, mm, five to eight weeks, I would say. And yeah, I'm just trying to keep that streak going. And hopefully this week is not the end of that streak. Cause right now I'm at seven, about $700 in profit on a Thursday. So that means I have to sell like about $300 worth of profit of shoes before the end of Sunday. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. You say you have a meeting now? Oh, so I have another meetup at like around 8.30, like once the person gets out of work and just finished the deal. I got the cash, 310, and I'm gonna put in my sneaker portfolio right now. I think it's around a $50 profit, which isn't bad. And I'll take it any time of the day. Yes, so sir. Throw that out. Is that the one that you're doing on your computer? Good yeah, stuff, man. Royal toe. Wait, so now you want to buy me Chick Fil A, right? Fuck it. Yeah, sure. Man. All right, so these are the shoes going out. Um, ignore my screaming parents right now. They're talking to their relatives. But yeah, so basically, these shoes. Um, selling these and then selling these to two different people and then these shoes. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to someone I know and they're gonna check them out. See if he wants to cop because he told me to bring all the size nine, nine and a half shoes I have. So I'll bring them over and yeah. All right, y'all. So we're going to our second meetup of the night. Um, the guy was stuck at Taco Bell, so we basically had to wait for like 30 minutes. <laughs> How you guys stuck at Taco Bell? I don't know because the the the, uh, the workers took really long. He's so. fucking eating some, <laughs> some that fucking happens. beef tacos. But yeah, so we're gonna go. We're gonna meet up. I'm gonna show him the shoes I got. And yeah, and then there's another one, right? Another meetup. Um, uh, well, that's the guy who hasn't responded to me yet. So maybe not. So maybe we just might call it a day and just go hooping. All so right. yeah, we'll see you there. All right, guys. 1k in the cash shop. I sold three shoes just now. It was the game royals um, The black easies and the homages all to one guy He wanted he wanted two shoes for sure and then I showed him the easies and he wanted the easy so um, We're gonna get we're gonna I'm gonna put them in the sneaker portfolio right now We're gonna get the numbers and see how much profit we are in but I think I did break the $1,000 profit this week, which is a good thing because um, that's always a goal I want to hit, so yeah, we'll probably end tonight. Probably end tonight on on that note. Uh, we have another deal, so we just closed out our uh, our outro for our video, but we do have another deal for these 700s right now. I want to go win. I know, but we we, can, we gotta hey, that's that's life of a reseller right there. Yeah. Deals just come out of nowhere, so we about to go to a Home Depot, 20, 20 minutes away, and. After that, I think we're gonna call it a day, and we're gonna go. Home. How much so, profit is this? This one, I think it's about to be like a ninety dollar profit or something Ooh. like that. So, nice. since he said he's gonna do two eighty, if I go to him, so okay. about to pop out like right now. So, yeah, that's it's right. Not dead. It's dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, whatever, vet. Oh, it's dead. Ugly oh, yo, let me see your belly. Let me see your belly right now. Yeah. <laughs> So he just got the cash. He gave me an extra 20 bucks because I pulled up on him in Quincy. Damn, 20? Yeah, so 280. So that's oh. about like a $90 profit, $100 profit, something like that. But uh, yeah, I think now we're gonna cut to the end of the video because we're we're gonna go hoop now. So yeah, today was a pretty successful day. I didn't really, I thought today was gonna be pretty quiet, 
when uh, Bird told me he wanted to film, but like, I mean, I guess, I guess it was pretty. He had one only planned, and now we ended up doing like five. I know, cause that that's what happens. Like, it just yeah. happens on the fly, and I used, I like I try to capitalize it now because I don't like making like. You guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't like making people wait, like, like, cause they if they want the shoe now, then I'll, I'll come pull up on them and see. He gave me an extra twenty since I did, so it was worth it at the end. But yeah, appreciate y'all. Um, tune in next week, and yeah, we'll catch up. Um. Follow us on our social media and peace.